Good evening, everybody, in this second session, introductory session for Sharjah Award for Education and Excellence, round 27, uh, supporting profession category. This is, this is the second session. We already did the first session in the last week, uh, last Saturday, and this is the second session. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you today, and welcome for everyone. Uh, in this session, we provide as an introduction for the Sharjah Award of Educational Excellence, round 27. Uh, we will go through standards, and if you have any questions, uh, we can answer your questions. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we appreciate uh, His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, ruler of Sharjah, his big support for. Uh, Sharjah Educational Excellence. As you know, it is an award launched by his support, uh, and we appreciate his support continuously. Our agenda today, we will have introduction for 10 minutes, uh, go through general information about the award. We have 14 minutes, 40 minutes uh, to go through the standards for professional uh, support, uh, supporting profession category. At the last 10 minutes, we will answer your questions and provide more clarification for any questions that you have. At the same time, you can write the question in question and answer and in the comments, and we will try to answer your question, me and Mr. Mahmoud from the award management. Let's start with introduction. As we know, uh, I think you go through the website for Sharjah Award and you are uh, familiar with the vision and mission of this award. The award vision is to establish awareness of pioneering and national education system. And we can, uh, this vision could be uh, achieved by establishing uh, generations who are committed to their principles uh, through continuous improvement and development of educational system within a framework of innovation and providing excellent service to all society. Uh, our program at the, for the award this year, and it is uh, 27th around, the introduction uh, workshops is already started and it, it will be uh, at the end, to the end of uh, January 2021. Uh, there are days, you should be uh, aware of these days, or at the 15th of April, it's the last day for submit the application for all the participants and nominee. And at the 17th of uh, June, the winners will be announce in a certain ceremony. So be fixed to these days. Be sure to submit your application at the mid of uh, April. And we wish good luck for all of you. For the categories for this uh, Sharjah Educational Award, uh, this year it consists of 12 category. And as you see on the screen, uh, the categories of the award covered all the school society. From the students, we have certain category for students, students with special needs uh, for schools, special education teachers, for teachers, parents, council, uh, projects, uh, family category, nursery, outstanding uh, applied educational research, and we have also uh, new categories for, uh, it is not new, it's provided in different uh, vision or a new vision. So this is why we hi highlighted or presented in different colors, the supporting profession and educational leader. These two categories this year, the Sharjah uh, Award Management have a new vision for these two categories and we will go through this uh, the 
supporting profession uh, standards today. You can see here the each uh, category, how many uh, winners uh, for each category and the uh, rewards value for each category. You can go through them. I will keep this slide for uh, just seconds. Uh, what we interested in in our session is supporting profession. We have four winners. Uh, so four winners will get the award this year. Each uh, award will be 15,000 dirham. And we wish luck for you all. This is other categories winner. The supporting uh, profession uh, this year, it's provided in different version. Uh, this category includes all, all specialists inside the school, either laboratory specialist, learning resources, a special education, academic advisor, social worker, uh, psychologist, nurse, behavior officer, safety and security officer, and secretary. All these professions could nominate themselves to charge award if they are find themselves have the capabilities to nominate, to nominate themselves to charge award education. Uh, the award management keen to spotlight and highlight the special efforts that these people uh, provide for schools to achieve the educational targets. So this is why make it different. There is a, a list of term and conditions. There is general term of, of, uh, and conditions. All the participants or all the nominee in the award should be uh, should meet or committed to it. I will keep the slide for seconds just to go through these terms of condition. And if you have any questions regarding these conditions, please uh, let me know. And there is certain uh, term of condition special for outstanding supporting profession. The first one, the any nominee should have at least minimum three years in his position. Uh, and either, uh, as we said in the uh, these positions that we mentioned here, minimum will be for three years. The second condition, you must not have won the Sharjah Award for Excellence in the same category before the end of the three rounds of the year. This is two conditions special for this category. Other uh, term guidelines, I think all of you go through these guidelines through the uh, website and the guideline that's already published on the website. I will keep these uh, guidelines for a second uh, on the screen. If you have any questions, please write it on the question and answer or keep it at the end of the session and we can answer your questions. Excuse me, I will silent my phone. Okay. If you don't have any questions, we'll go through the what is in you in this category. Um, I will show to okay. This is slide two, based on your the question of one of your colleagues. Uh, she asked to show the slide two, 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, okay. As I, mean, I mentioned in the uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of this uh, meeting, in this version of this category, it is a new. Uh, so, what is the new in this version? The main things is the, uh, the this category or the standards consist of four 
key standards, and each standard consists of substandards. Uh, each standards and substandards consist of a set of capabilities. These sets of capabilities related to set of results. Each capability should lead to results, so the nominee should focus once they start to develop their application. <coughs> Sorry. How they reflect their capabilities and link their capabilities to a set of results that they have to achieve. This is the first thing. The second thing, which is new, there's incentives should be included once you start developing your capabilities. The four incentives that should be taken into consideration is flexibility, agility, innovation, and the future law. So, based on that, once you start developing your application, you need to highlight your capabilities, link the capabilities to results, and highlight, make it clear that you have, you are flexible, have agility, innovative, and have the future look. Based on that, we need to be aware of new concepts already introduced in this category. Once I said capability, what I mean with capability? Capability it rep represents all activities that you did, uh, projects, action that you do in order to achieve specific results in a specific time. Okay. What is result? Results already linked to uh, capabilities. So you need, once you write the results that link to the capability, or once you start to develop the results, you should have a certain measure focusing on measuring the effectiveness of the work that you did or the effectiveness of the projects, uh, program, activities that already you did in your work. Uh, once you start to develop the capabilities and results, you need to reflect how much you are flexible, so responding quickly to, to changes, how you are agile, uh, respond either internally to changes either intern the school or outside the school internally and externally and keep it as opportunity to learn and achieve more. Uh, how you are innovative in providing solution and adapting a new approach in your work and how much you are aware of the future look new trends in your work and adapt these new trends inside your job and your task inside the school. As I mentioned in the beginning regarding the standards, we have four standards and each standard has sub standards or sub criteria, a set of capabilities. These capabilities link to set of results and we need to take into account a related or interrelated incentives, flexibility, agility, innovation and future look. Now we will go through the standards. We will provide you with, we just go through a general overview of the standards and its substandards or criteria. And after that, we will provide example for each standards. For example, or the first standard in this category, career and professional achievement. This standard focused on or highlight the participant ability or the nominee ability, how much he achieved the outstanding career professional achievement uh, in the line with Ministry of Education plan. This standard has five substandards. Career-related planning, how you are innovative and you have your own plan in the line with Ministry of Education plan. How you performing the task in professionalism and excellence, uh, creative ideas that you provide in evaluating the performance of recipients, how you adapt positive incentives to support the education process, and how you provide innovation solution or innovative solution to challenges that you face in your work. So, 
For example, once you start to develop your application in the substandard innovative solution to challenges, you need to reflect or identify the challenges related to your job. After you identify challenges, you need to reflect your ability to collect data about these challenges and collect information and how you identify the causes of these challenges and sort out innovative solution. The, the capability should contain on all this information and you need to uh, reflect it in a good way. Uh, the results, you need to highlight what are the results of analysis and evaluation of job challenges. You reflect the or present the challenges, the causes of the challenges based on information and the solution. Uh, what's the data related to this solution and what the results of making this solution to solve these challenges or face the challenges? This is the first standard. The second standard, professional development and sustainability growth. This standard focuses how much the participant or the nominee uh, focus or demonstrating uh, continuous professional development either for himself or his colleagues inside the school or in the neighborhood of the school. Uh, it contains five substandards or five criteria. The first one focusing on professional development and sustainable growth, how much he keep to get professional development, either getting a new certification for higher education, new qualification, uh, participating in uh, workshops and so on. Uh, the second criteria follow up on latest development in specialists. What is the latest development in, in the specialist and has a specialist and how much he using this latest development in doing his work and performing the task related to his work and in the line with Ministry of Education plan, uh, self-development and professionalism, how he keep self-development growth how he achieving collaborative professional development, either participating in uh, training uh, uh, communities, for example, uh, provides uh, mentoring for his colleague in the same uh, job, uh, and so on. And the, one of the most important thing in getting the professional development and sustainable, sustainable growth, publishing a research article or box in the field of specialization. Uh, and this is one of the example that we, need, we will go through in this slide. Uh, for example, in publishing research, once you start to develop your capabilities, uh, you need to highlight your ability to publish specific research or paper or book or whatever. But in the result, you need to reflect what the benefits of publishing this paper or research and the impact of this research or paper in yourself and your school. For example, if you publish a, a paper in uh, the uh, methods on providing virtual uh, or applying virtual labs and, uh, and teaching uh, science, this paper it could have good results. How you using this results and uh, your daily work. The third standard in this uh, category is achieving or activating technology in professional development. As you know, technology is an important part of our life now, and it's important part of the educational system, either inside the classroom or outside the classroom. Every member in the school should know how to apply technology in his work. So uh, this standard has four substandards. How you activating a program related to your work? Uh, how you activate the digital interaction between your colleagues, the schools, uh, the, uh, the audience that you serve? Uh, applying modern e-learning systems and equipments in your work 
and how you measuring the digital impact. For example, when we said activating the digital interaction, you need to reflect your capability in effective electronic communication, how you communicate electronically with your colleagues, either by emails, by other social media, and so on, producing digital educational media and material using this uh, material or using uh, technology to produce material that facilitate your work and the result should reflect the impact of these capabilities and your work how using technology and this part facilitate the work inside the school and in the school community the fourth standard and this category is the social effectiveness. Uh, this is standard focusing how you enhance the quality of work life for yourself and your colleague for the school. And it contains or consists of four substandards. First one is working quality, how you keep the quality of work. Uh, the voluntary work, how you're participating in the voluntary work and the community partnership, how you participate in increasing the community partnership with the schools and you need to focus in your specialty. For example, working quality, there is two substandards for this one, improving digital quality of life in the school and improving the quality of work life. So you need to reflect your capabilities, how to improve you improve the digital quality of life and how improve the quality of life of all school uh, workers. And the result should reflect the effectiveness and the impact of your, your activities or your projects or your initiatives. And improving digital quality of life or improving quality of school life on the audience and on the schools. So we go through the four standards and substandards of this uh, category, uh, supporting profession category, uh, the career and the professional achievement, professional development and sustainable growth, uh, activating technology in professional development and social effectiveness. Uh, and provide an example for each one. 